Fresh and Famous Radio. All right, all right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, Fresh and Famous Radio Show. This is JL, the radio host. Ladies and gentlemen, dudes and chicks, I have one of the coolest rappers on the line right now. Multi-talented. Uh, he brought out Hippie Hop, and he's uh, traveled around the world and smoked out his fans from, like, across the world, too. So, Mod Son, what's the, what's the deal, Mod Son, man? What's going on? Okay, okay, let me make it very clear first, too. I gotta let you know, I have no fans out there. My mom is not even a fan of my music. Everything is considered a friend of mine, so I call it a friend base, not a fan base. But okay. yes, I do be smoking on all the friends, that's for sure. <laughs> What's up, my dude? I'm glad you had me on here. Oh, man, no problem, man. You know what, man? Like, I've seen your videos and everything, man. I've seen your vlogs and all that. You gotta, you, you might have to smoke me out, man. I mean, I'm not a heavy smoker, but, you know, I, I can do a few things, man. You might have to uh, put me down, you know? <laughs> oh, I got you. I'm going to be out in Cali in like a week and a half. I'm going to start shooting a bunch of videos out there. So definitely. we'll definitely make that happen. Definitely. Let's do it. Now, what was your first time uh, smoking, bud? When, when was, like, the first time that you smoked weed? First time I smoked, uh, I was 14 years old. And, and that was the first time that started an everyday thing for me. And I smoke weed every. I do not convince people to to do it. I do not tell people they should all that. But you know, if you do, I'm here for you because I appreciate it, and it does something for me in uh, in the way of uh, like a medical thing. Like honestly, it makes me. Uh, you know, growing up, I had like kind of a short temper and, mm -hmm. and all that. And really, when I when I first started smoking weed, it's kind of when my life turned into like you know being able to be at one with myself and not let other people you know penetrate the you know the the bubble or of energy I keep around myself. You know. That's what it is. That's what it is. Mod Son right here on Fresh and Famous Radio Show. Only on FreshandFamous.com. You already know what it is. Now, when did you create Hippie Hop? Okay, Hippie Hop started. Um, so, let me say, my name is Mod Son. Let me just introduce myself to everyone if you don't know. Um, my name is Mod Son. It stands for Movement on Dreams, Stand Under None. And I don't make hip-hop music, I don't make rap music, I call my music hippie hop. Uh, the whole thing behind hippie hop is not because I'm like, you know, playing over guitars and things like that. I'm definitely, uh, you know, rapping and I'm definitely doing it over, you know, hip-hop derived type beats and stuff like that production from some of the greatest, you know, hip-hop producers in the game. Uh, the whole hippie hop thing is about the idea of the hippie stood for, which was, you know, I'm not, I'm not outside of, uh, you know, the White House, like, picketing with, with signs and shit like that. It's not like that kind of hippie stuff, but it, it really is the fact of I am here to spread nothing but positive energy, and I definitely stand for what I believe in, and I believe in other people, and I want other people to be even greater than, you know, I picture myself in my mind, and right. so... The half idea is all about literally just empowering yourself and being, you know, I like to say that the word selfish was abused because selfish has like a negative connotation on it, which in terms, I mean, being at the top of your list, like what the hell should you be at the top of your list, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. your life. And helping people is very important, but your help is so much more powerful once yourself you have to be honest the op is about empowering yourself and talking about you know i'm not talking about guns and drugs and gangs and fights and bitches and shit like that it's, oh, God, it's all about positivity and really inspiring the next you put my life to positivity and now i do it through music and and the way that i, I began rapping is just is just because words man it's not it's not uh it's not because i grew up listening to hip-hop because i really didn't i didn't start listening to hip-hop until probably like you know five years ago wow. where i really but uh, it was just the, the connection with words and, and wanting to say something to, to inspire others. Now you dropped a tape. Yeah. Um, you just dropped a tape called uh, Blaze by the Bell. Now why the hell is it not an album, dude? Why didn't you make it an album? Okay, um, with me, this whole this whole outlet, what separates to me, okay, so what he's saying is that it's free. It's available on the front of datpiff.com right now. If you want to go check it out, it's called Blaze by the Bell. It's hosted by DJ Ill Will and DJ Rockstar. Mm -hmm. It's a great mixtape. Um, it, to me, it is an album, but, but really what I wanted to do is, is I don't see a dollar I don't want to make any money off this until I feel like I should be. You know what right. I'm saying? And right now, I'm still at the point where I don't deserve anything, and I'm going to be like that forever. Like, I don't deserve people listening to me. I don't deserve being on an interview by you, man. Like, this <laughs> is all a gift. Like, really, you know? Yeah. I don't deserve downloads or nothing like that. So what I really want the people to know is that, like, I'm not doing this to make money. I'm not doing this to, like, better my situation. I love where I'm at in life. Like, I'm just a thing. Like, every day is, is the best day of my life. You know what I'm saying? Right. So um, I just want to, it to reach the masses. Like, and, you know, putting a price on it, obviously, is going to stop 
bunch of potential new listeners from listening just because that's fun. Right. And, you know, this is kind of my introduction to uh, the hip-hop game. Like, like really, you know, I've, I've been making the hippie hop stuff for, like, the last about 850 days, which is a little over two years. And, um, you know, like, I have a real real tight friend base, so they're all familiar with me. But with this this record, you know, I have production from Static Selecta, 88B, the Mim, the Nipsey Whistle, the Q, you know, a bunch of real hip-hop you know, characters, and right. this is kind of my introduction to that, so I'm going to make it clear that I wasn't trying to sell it, that it was like, you know, I want you to get this, I don't care if I make a dollar off this, and, you know, or I just want you to, I want it in your ears, I see, uh, I'm like, no, not a dollar sign with the whole thing, so, right. that's what made it, that's what made it free, it's like an album, I put a lot of time into it, I've got great, it's not just me free sound on industry shit, and it's nothing like that, it's all original, and, uh, you know, I just definitely wanted to make it, make it reach the mass much possible that's what it is that's what it is my son on the line right now all right so on on the mixtape you got a song with uh nipsey hustle now how did you both connect nipsey hustle one of the illest dudes hustle. in the game oh my god <laughs> nipsey hustle is is uh not only is he a fantastic artist who has like a very large um you know piece of work right now he's put out a lot of music and he actually you know, engineers all his sessions. He records himself. He's like that that actual natural born hustler. Um, he was in Minnesota, which is where I'm from. I'm, I was born in Bloomington, Minnesota. Mentally, though, I live in Amsterdam, so I'd be floating around there a lot. Okay. <laughs> but um, <laughs> uh, I'm in Minnesota, so Nipsey Hustle came through. He was playing a show, and you know the way I connect. And this is again, I'm not I'm not uh, I'm not telling y'all you need to smoke weed, but what I do, you know, my way because network is very powerful, and, and wanting to meet people. Like I I walk in any room, and I'm gonna try to make friends with everybody. And when mm -hmm. I walk out. In my head, you're my friend. And if it's not like that to you, that's okay with me. But, you know, in my head, you are my friend. So I walked up to Nipsey. I had a fat bag of weed. And I was like, yo, let's burn. You know, let's burn. What's up? Got <laughs> And uh, we're just chilling. And then after the show, I was like, yo, I got a studio real close. You know what I'm saying? You want to come over? And he came through, kicked it, you know, and we did our thing. And finally, I got him on a track. The beat I had uh, him rap on is a beat by a dude named Static Plunger. He's a huge, huge, huge producer. So, um, you know, that obviously uh, got him interested. But since then, you know, we've been kicking it. We're about to shoot a video for the song, and Nipsey's the man. So if any of you are not familiar with Nipsey Hustle, which I'm sure you are, but if you're not, definitely look him up right now. He is uh, a lyrical genius and definitely, you know, he's doing his thing. Yeah. What up to Nipsey Hustle, man? What up to Nipsey Hustle? So... What's what's coming up for my son now, man? What you got up your sleeve now? The sun is coming up, man. The sun is definitely coming up. I'll tell you what we got going on. We um we're definitely uh we're still we're still definitely sitting on uh on the mixtape and promoting it as hard as we can, trying to get it out there as much as possible. So blaze by the bell, go download that shit now. Um besides that, I have a tour coming up in November. I want to announce who it's with, but I honestly can't, but let me tell you, it is definitely uh it's a big name artist and it's a full US tour, so I'm gonna be in every uh every market. And um so that's November. Uh, from there on out, man, it's really, it's really just building this and, and making more friends. Like I said, I just, I don't want fans. I don't want any right. fans. I want to be able to go every spot in the world and have friends there. Here's my last question. Um, <laughs> <laughs> here's my last question. This is from a, fan, a fan, Brandon. He's in uh, Austin, Texas. He said you performed out there not too long ago. Um, he wants to yeah. know. He wants to know who could smoke the most weed between you and Wiz Khalifa, man. Who could smoke the most? You know, he, he, he's a pro just like myself. We're both pro smokers, so I have a feeling that neither of us would tap out. But you ain't never going to catch me. You ain't never going to catch me tap on smoking. So so I can go and I can smoke from here until, you know, until uh, until they make me go to sleep. So listen, there ain't no tapping out. And I imagine he's the same way, so I'm pretty sure we keep up together. Uh-oh, man. In the future, we got we to gotta see that, man. We got to see like a, we got to have an event. With like who could smoke the most, man. I'm talking about like yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta do that. I'm, I'm talking about we really gotta set it up. Really set it up. <laughs> I'm talking about five hundred blunts on each table, you know what I mean? Just going at it, just <laughs> just that's what, that's what I got inside waiting for me right now. <laughs> <laughs> My son on the line, one of the coolest <laughs> dudes. You guys make sure you cop that uh Blaze by the Bell uh mixtape, man. It should have been an album, but it's a mixtape, so be lucky at that. Go cop that. Thatpiff.com, hotnewshiphop.com. It's all in the front, like, you know, we're all going to uh, conquer the world. So before we go, man, before we go, go ahead and let us know where we can hit you up at and, you know, give us some shout-outs. 
Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so like I said, my name is Mod Sun. That's M O D S U N. If you go on to Google and type that in, I promise you will find free music, music videos, all sorts of stuff that you're going to want. Um, definitely right now, Blaze by the Bell, hosted by DJ Illwell and DJ Rockstar, is on the front of datpiff.com. It's on the front of hotnewhiphop.com. So you can go and get that right now. We're doing very well, and I'd like to see those downloads keep climbing. As far as shout outs, I got to say, Fresh and Famous, you the fucking man. I love you so much. Thank you for having me on here. And everybody out there listening, please make your mentality your reality because it's very true nobody in this boy in this earth is born with talent okay everybody is born on the same playing field go and do your thing make your dreams come true this shit is very easy there's no such thing as hard in life everything is easy some things just take a little bit longer so focus make your shit happen i love you my name is my son hippie hot forever woodstock that's what we do shout out to mikey bryant my lawyer david bean shout out to dj ill will shout out to to, to two dope boys hot new hip hop <laughs> famous to all that shit. i love you so much <laughs> that's how you do it that's how we do it. That's how we do it. My son on the line, man. It was an honor to have you on. I can't forget the friend base, too. I can't forget the friend base. So shout out to the friend base all day. Definitely. Definitely. That's how we do it. My son on the line right now. Let's go ahead and spin one of your joints, man. Let's go spin one of your joints from this Blaze by the Bell. Uh, here's What's Your Life Like featuring Nipsey Hustle. Hustle, man. All right. We're going to conquer the world tonight. Yeah. Huh? Rolling on my swisher. Busties rolling up this joint. Yeah. Huh? Smoking up. Smoking up. Drinking up. Like what shit? Uh, yeah. My son. Like what nip though? Nipsey hustle out yeah. the west. Static select out the east. Yeah. And I'm yeah. hippie high. All yeah. money in, no money out. What's your life like? A M B. DJ here with you. Yeah. Yo, what's your life like? Fuck, 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 fucking awesome. Every day I be waking up like. What, what? Let's get it popping. A bad day just ain't an option. They standing still. I'm probably moshing them away with no caution. So 10 a.m. before. It's like that. Sometimes this shit really is ridiculous. 